actually started the club because I saw that there are not as many women in clubs that were engineering focused and I thought it would be inviting for those girls to get involved with something that would give them a community to work on things that they want to pursue in college and career. <laughs> we made this as like kind of a safe space for women in our engineering programs and you know other women that aren't in the engineering programs but want to help out and we made it basically as a club for us to work on our own things and do outreach to middle schools or in the area and of course the DC electric vehicle competition. It's an electric powered car. It runs on lead acid batteries. They are 72 pounds total, so they're pretty heavy. Um, it's man sized, so we have one driver who sits in it and drives. They're in a position where it's kind of reclined and <laughs> lying back. Um, and it's raced on a course kind of like a go-kart track every year and we compete against other DC, Maryland schools and their teams. Um, and the race itself isn't just about who finishes first or who finishes the fastest. Um, it's about conserving the battery that you have because everyone has the same amount in the time that you're given. So when the way we won was by conserving what we had and not dying in the middle of the race because when you die, you're, you're out. When we were racing, we were actually 100% the underdogs. We were the only team there that had the old car with a motor that you can hear, no regenerative braking, and you know we were just basically there not to make fools of ourselves. Our car didn't even work 10 minutes before the race, and then we found a faulty wire and we got it working. And so the fact that we pulled off this win is really amazing, and it feels amazing. We're doing a lot of projects. We're also trying to reach out to younger students, like middle school students, to kind of get them involved. So it's just extending what we know to the younger people of this world and getting them involved in engineering too. Because engineering is a field mostly dominated by men.